If you're a fan of the channel, then you'll know I prefer my watches on a bracelet. Unfortunately, not all of my little treasures have that pleasure. Hi and welcome to Last Watch. At the end of April, I was contacted by Ivan at Vario, who offered to send me some watch straps for review. Now, I'll be straight up and honest with you here. I would definitely consider myself a bracelet guy. If I'm buying a new watch, then I'm the sort of person that will tick the box and select a Jubilee over a leather or material strap. Sadly, not all of my watches come with a metal option. Therefore, on occasion, I have cautiously picked up additional straps with both Amazon and WatchGecko being a relatively affordable and safe bet. Choosing the right strap for your watch will make sure that it never comes off your wrist, either by accident or choice. Get it wrong and you'll end up with a watch that doesn't get worn, or worst case scenario, a strap failure that will cost you dearly. You can understand why a manufacturer's own bracelet is the preferred choice for many. Having said all that, Vario has been on my radar for some time, as it turns out they make quite an attractive watch and a rather snazzy travel case. Not to mention something that may be of interest to you G-Shock fans out there. All will be explained. Not wanting to pass up the opportunity to check out what Vario had to offer, I jumped on their website and selected a handful of straps with three watches in mind as budding models. And here they are ready for your attention, laid out from left to right in ascending price order. If it's not already obvious, all the straps and accessories I have today were sent to me free of charge, and I haven't been paid for this review. Ivan only asked if I could give him a good review on their Facebook page, Google or Vario website. Ultimately, that comes down to the quality of his products. First up is a 22mm twill in midnight blue NATO with beige divider and brushed silver hardware, currently on sale at £9 or $10. Next is the 22mm seatbelt Navy Edge NATO with brushed silver hardware costing £14 or $16. The third strap is the widest, a 24mm seatbelt Crimson Edge NATO with brushed silver hardware. This comes with a G-Shock NATO adapter and spring bar tool and will set you back £22 or $26. If you're a G-Shock Square fan, you can pick up the NATO adapter separately for £9 or $10. We then move on to the 22mm Midnight Comet Graphic NATO with polished silver hardware, priced at £22 or $26. The penultimate strap is a 20mm wide Harris Tweed in cobalt blue with polished silver tang and buckle, which will cost you £32 or $38. And our last offering is a 20mm vintage Italian leather onyx black watch strap, again with polished silver tang and buckle, this being the most expensive strap on the table at £35 or $42. Also included in the package was a deluxe denim blue watch travel case, which will set you back £17 or $20 and a watch roll that you can still get your hands on, you just can't buy it. Vario is based in Singapore and was established in 2016 by husband and wife team Ivan and Judy Tua. I think it's fair to say that Ivan enjoys wearing his watches and wasn't the type to baby them. His watches have stood the test of time, but they were often let down by their straps. Like myself, Ivan trained as a graphic designer, so he decided to put his expertise to good use and design his own watch straps. The result was the graphic NATO strap range, which proved to be such a success that the company grew from there. Vario now has more than a dozen different strap options, which include NATO, Zulu, Italian leather, Harris Tweed, Silicon, and even a compatible iWatch range. It's this variation of products that Ivan offers which inspired him to name the company Vario. Let's get back to the straps, and the only way to do them justice is to show them as they should be presented on a watch. This is the 22mm twill in midnight blue. It's a single pass NATO that looks almost black, but has a double weave of cotton with ribs of diagonal parallel lines. I'm not normally a fan of NATOs, as I feel that they add unnecessary bulk to a watch on your wrist, but I thought I'd give this single pass a go, as it's only 1.2mm thick. I wouldn't consider myself a beige man, but the centre line looks more gold than beige, and although I'm wearing this on the Save the Ocean, 
I was half tempted to put it on my Steinhardt OVN39, as I think it might flatter the four patina. It has brushed hardware with a very subtle Vario logo on the buckle. This strap comes in seven different colour options with a width of 18, 20 or 22mm and you get the choice of brushed silver or brushed black hardware. Here we have another single pass NATO, this one being the Navy Edge seatbelt. If you've ever been in a car then this material will feel all too familiar. It has a herringbone weave and feels silky to the touch. It also has a sheen that catches the light which makes it the perfect partner for the deep sea dial of the Seiko. There are 10 different colour options in this range and I have two of them here today. Maybe I should have been a bit more adventurous and picked out some other options from the vast Vario range but as I said earlier I have particular watches from my collection in mind when I made my selection. All the seatbelt NATOs are 1.4mm thick and come in 20, 22 and 24mm widths with a choice of brushed silver or black hardware. The buckle here is a little more pronounced and comes with a curved edge whereas the previous twill was straight. It's finished again with an almost invisible Vario logo. I'm going to jump past the Crimson Edge and move on to the Midnight Comet Graphic NATO. Now you might well be asking why, by my standards at least, did I choose this quite loud red, white and blue print? Well, way back in the early 90s, I used to have a sleeping bag squirrelled away in the back of my car for those nights where I'd end up sleeping on a pal sofa or floor after a hard night's drinking. I'm pretty damn sure it had this design. Although I quite like Ivan's interpretation of the bold colours on this strap, a depiction of a meteoroid shower in the night sky. I suspect Ivan may have been one of my drinking buddies. This is the 22mm wide option with much slimmer polished silver hardware. You can see the logo has moved from the buckle to the bottom keeper. Unlike the seatbelt NATOs that are a single pass, this has a double back. The material is only 1.2mm thick but doubled up it will add nearly 2.5mm to the thickness of your watch. It's made from a material called Dacron, which is a polyester blend usually used to prevent friction between surfaces in upholstery. The fact that it's used here on a traditional NATO should help prevent the material from wearing against itself on the back of your watch. There are 15 different graphic NATOs available in widths of 18, 20 and 22mm. You also have the choice of polished silver, matte black and depending on the design also polished gold and polished rose gold. Before I move on I should add that all the straps I've shown you so far are machine washable and if it matters to you 100% vegan friendly. Now when I saw this next strap on the Vario website I just had to get it. It's the Harris Tweed in Cobalt Blue. I may well be English but I've been in Scotland for quite some time and I've had the pleasure of visiting a lot of the islands including the Isle of Lewis. No, I don't love Lewis, it's the Isle of Lewis. Although there are a lot of independent weavers on the isles, I've visited the main Harris Tweed production site and filmed their looms and witnessed them signing off the tweed. I thought, I can't live in Scotland and not have a Harris Tweed watch strap. I opted for the cobalt blue because, well, it looks purple, and I love the colour purple. That's not a movie reference, by the way. It's all down to the magic of Harris Tweed and the way they mix their threads. I opted for the 20mm with polished silver tang and buckle so that I could put it on the cocktail time here. I figured it would complement the Starburst dial and it does. This strap also had a cameo role in my recent Marlin Snoopy review. Go check it out if you haven't already done so. Now Harris Tweed has a reputation for being quite scratchy especially if you have sensitive skin like moi. Luckily, this is leather back to prevent any irritation. It's on the back that you will find the Vario logo and the Harris Tweed orb confirming that this is proper Harris Tweed. The strap is quite thick at 6mm but remains quite comfortable on the wrist. I do have my concerns about the keepers and how they might hold up in the long term. The only disappointment is that this strap is too short. I have a 7 inch wrist and the strap is a tight fit. There's a couple more holes on the tail here, but using them would make the keepers redundant. There doesn't seem to be an option for a larger size, something Ivan may want to consider. I suspect this was designed with the ladies in mind. If you have a large wrist, then sadly you won't get the pleasure of wearing this strap. The Harris Tweed comes in three widths, 10, 20 and 22 millimeters, and a choice of polished silver, gold and rose gold, and also matte black tang and buckle. All the Harris Tweed straps are water resistant but I would consider keeping this dry as much as possible. 
Moving on, we have the vintage Italian leather in onyx black. This is the 20mm, which tapers to less than 16, making it uber slim. Unlike the Harris Tweed, it's quite supple with a nice vintage grain. It has a contrasting stitch, almost like an off-white, that is aged and resulted in a golden glow. The tang and buckle is polished silver and the tail is held by two leather keepers. On the reverse, it has the Vario branding and a reminder that this is genuine Italian leather. To make life easy, the strap has quick release spring bars. Unfortunately, I find them to be quite tight and not as easy as they should have been to slot into place. I'm not sure if this is down to their length or pin thickness, maybe a little bit of both. I got there eventually with a little persuasion, though after finding quick release spring bars on the Italian leather strap, it did make me wonder why this same option wasn't available on the Harris Tweed. The Italian leather comes in 10 different colours, 18, 19, 20 and 22mm widths, and with a choice of polished silver, gold, rose gold or matte black tang and buckles. Now I know you guys love the G-Shock, however a lot of you draw issue with its default resin strap and have asked me for alternatives. You could always replace it with a combi bracelet, but that would inevitably mean buying another square. Or you can get an adapter from J's and K's. Well now you have another option, as Vario also do a G-Shock NATO adapter. Firstly, you will need to remove the G-Shock strap, which is no easy feat. Then you will need to attach the adapters. I was hoping to do all of this on camera, but fitting the adapters proved more difficult than I expected. I would only recommend you attempt this modification if you have the patience of a saint, or are more skilled than I. Once you have the adapters on, a whole new world opens up to you, as you can then fit your G-Shock with a slip through NATO or Zulu. And this is why I ordered the extra wide 24mm seatbelt crimson edge NATO, which I think pairs nicely with a red lined square. It also keeps that tactical look. I opted for the brushed silver hardware to match the silver pushers and screws of the 5610, but you could always choose the brushed black if you prefer. The G-Shock strap range gives you the widest choice, with more than 30 options which include the seatbelt here, as well as a ballistic nylon, Kajuro and other NATOs and Zulus. And to prove the point of the adapter's flexibility, I thought I'd show you how the square looks on the other NATOs that I have today. Please forgive the ill-fitting size and don't comment on how I've worn any of today's NATOs. The tails were worn for ease of use. And while we're at it, if the G-Shock can wear a NATO, then why can't the cocktail time? No harm in trying. The thing I was most looking forward to getting my hands on today was the Oyster style deluxe denim watch travel case. Vario described this as a donut shape. Do you prefer donuts or oysters? It's all down to taste. This would appear to be machine pressed and is tough enough to keep its shape. It has a quality nylon spill resistant exterior and foam padded interior. There's a netted area in the roof where it's recommended that you store a set of headphones or maybe even a charging cable. Not sure if I'd want the mini magnets and earbuds so close to a mechanical watch, but the main market for this occasional traveller would appear to be you iWatch wearers out there, so I can see the sense of the design. I think this is a handy carrier for light travellers out there that want to take an extra watch on their trip. It comes in four different colours, you might be able to find one that matches your luggage. Wrapping up, we finish with a watch roll. I can't say I'm a fan of watch rolls, but that might be because most of my watches are on bracelets. I don't like the idea of pushing them into something and allowing the bracelet to rub up against the back of the watch. Maybe I'm just too precious. I would definitely be adding an extra piece of material. With that in mind, if you wear your watches on NATOs or leather straps and top and tail them in the dividers, then I guess a watch roll is perfect for those of you that like to travel with multiple watches. I should mention that you can't buy this watch roll, it's an end of line piece, but if you buy three or more straps from Vario, they will send you one of these free of charge while stocks last. If you're in the market for some watch straps and accessories, then I would certainly give the Vario website a look. Their strong point is the vast variety of NATOs and Zulus that they stock, and their quality seems to be on a par with the big players out there. I like their two-piece straps, but I think they should look at offering larger sizes for those of you with bigger wrists. To make life easier for you, I'll put some links in the video description for everything you've seen today. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not on any kind of kickback from Vario, and you're under no obligation to use them. I will however give one of you the opportunity to win the Crimson Red NATO and G-Shock adapter, providing of course that I can remove it from the watch. Just make sure you're a subscriber to the channel, like this video and leave a comment to let me know why you should be in the draw. You might also consider hitting the notifications button if you haven't already done so. 
Many thanks to Ivan and Judy at Vario for sending me all of today's goodies. I wish you the best of success, not that I think you need it. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video.